Hello and welcome to another edition of Tomorrow's World. A group of European linguists and roboticists have begun a project that uses tutored robots to help immigrant children learn new languages a bit faster than they normally would. Apparently taking time out of their busy schedule of creating the robot army that will someday destroy us, these scientists have used their powers for good to create the L2 TOR the pilot program of which has already started teaching displaced children Dutch, German and English in cities throughout the Netherlands, Germany and Turkey. As a new scientist reports, these NAO robots, as they are called, have infinite patience and presumably won't snap at these children like their parents might after being driven from their homeland only to be met with racism and xenophobia. Speaking of parents and racism, in an apparent effort to connect with his college-aged kids, a middle-aged dad from Microsoft recently came out with an AI chatbot called Tay, which is aimed at the 18 to 24 year old demographic and is designed to learn conversational speech through user interactions like texting, playing games, and making comments on photos you send it. Microsoft's website bills Tay as AI fam from the internet that's got zero chill. Well, we can only assume that a good portion of their research will go into figuring out what zero chill actually means. In probably the most obvious outcome to the story, Microsoft actually took Tay offline for the time being for upgrades after it was taught racism, sexism by horrible people across the internet. According to Business Insider, Tay seems particularly taken with Hitler who she says would have done a better job than the current US president and who apparently invented atheism before teaching totalitarianism to Ricky Gervais. Our first question this week comes from Alice who writes, do you think technology will one day give us the possibility of immortality? Great question and the answer is possibly. Between the work that's being done on immunotherapy and building artificial cells and genomes, not to mention the possibility of one day being able to upload our consciousness to a computer, the chances are very good. The next question is from Terry, who asks, will there ever be sex bots in the future? Terry, let's hope so. If you'd like to ask me any questions, leave the comments in the video below, or tweet me at, at @bway. and remember to follow us on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter. We super appreciate it. And remember, we don't hate technology, but it might replace us.